What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon and today we're going to the Camberwell Market. Camberwell is not very far from where I live. Uh, I actually go through Camberwell quite a lot but I've never ever gone to the Camberwell Market. Uh, I believe they have it every Sunday. It starts early at like 7am and only goes to about 12.30 so uh, I'm excited to go check it out. The thing that prompted this was a few weeks back I did a vlog at the Fitzroy Market where we met Tom and B from... Uh, issues, comics, and culture, <clears throat> and I know they're going to be there today. That's not the reason we're going, but we figured that's a good reason to go. At least there'll be them. We can go through their books again, uh, but I'm excited to check it out. I remember watching a video a little while back uh, of Nostalgia Button going to the uh, going to the Camberwell Market, uh, and it looked very interesting. So I don't think it's just going to be full of clothes like the Fitzroy Market was. I think there'll be a lot more interesting stuff there, in my opinion. So I'm excited. Let's get going. Let's do this. Just a quick shout out to my Seminions. Your support is greatly appreciated. Channel membership is now available. To find out more, hit the join button to find out about perks and exclusive videos and content. But always remember, your membership is not required. The best way to support the channel is by liking and commenting on all the videos. Let's do this. All right, so here is the classic start where I let you know that I made it safely. So as you can see here, the Camp War Muck was absolutely poppin'. Uh, it was going off tap, people everywhere enjoying themselves, rummaging through all this stuff, other people's treasure if you know what I'm saying, and there really was something for everyone. Uh, so as you can see here, lots of stuff, bowls, you like bowls? Well here's all kinds of bowls for you. So this was the first table that I had some sort of interest in, as you can see just all kinds of loose toys, loose action figures. Uh, there's a cute dog, but I had to wait quite a while to get to these toys because these people were standing in front of there for ages So I finally got there. So I was able to go through some of these loose figures. Nothing super exciting. There's some war machine there But nothing really of interest There were quite a few record sellers there all these markets I find there's always someone selling vinyl and old CDs and stuff Which is always fun to flick through. This is a really old looking record player, which is pretty cool. Then we got more toys, what are they, cars, oh some Hello Kitty there at the back, and oh there's a cute girl with blue hair, you know, you know all about that. Uh, and then here's another store I had a bit of interest in, some loose comics randomly just at the front here. As you can see the 12 inch figures are really popular at these markets, it's because they're so cheap. You buy them brand new for like 15 bucks, so you know, they're all over the place when you go to these markets. A lot of Star Wars stuff there, that's pretty cool. And then I noticed some comics in the back corner. So I had to squeeze through these short boxes. This guy just had random stuff. It was just a lot of these uh, fairs would just have comic sellers that sell random stuff. If my mate Gore Vidal is watching, here you go mate, shout out to you, my Phantom guy. He's the only guy in the world who likes Phantom. And here's some more loose figures for all my toy guys. And there's some Skylanders down here, I think. These were really cool. I didn't really get a good shot of them, but they were kind of like painted up guns and they had just cool, cute designs. I think Sarah would have really dug those. Here's a nice panning shot. Uh, as we battled through the crowds, I found more comic books here, so I had to go through these boxes. Uh, and I think there was, yep, there's some more Phantom comics from my mate Gore Vidal. This seller here had comic books, he had trading cards, he had Pixar cars. Uh, Lego minifigs, all kinds of stuff there. And then, um, what's under here? You got some Hot Wheels. Had a peek in here for the, my Warriors game, which I did not find. Got some pop vinyls, some Barbie figures. Um, yeah, there was nothing you couldn't find at this place. Uh, these are hair clips with cute little things on there. Now I remember I used to have some of these voodoo doll keychains, but these were apparently homemade, which was pretty cool. There's a Joker one there, that's cool. Uh, a lot of people were just selling books and then just randomly there'd be a little pile of comic books there. So kind of random, you'd find comics in all sorts of spots. I had to film this Spider-Man, he was too big for his shoes there. Here's some coins, I know the coin collecting's a big thing. And then, there they are, I spotted them. There's Tom and B from Issues, Comics and Culture. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. 
I met these guys at the Fitzroy market. If you guys didn't see that video, go back and check that one out. So me and Sarah decided to flick through their stuff and have a look again and had a really fun chat with Tom and B. They're great people and new to all this comic book selling stuff. So it was cool to chat to them about their experiences in selling because I'm pretty new to selling as well. So make sure you guys check out Tom and B on Instagram. It's issues, comics, and culture. Here's some more vinyl for all you vinyl collectors. I did have a flick through some of this stuff, the heavy metal section. You got some DVD movies here. People still buy those? Apparently so. I did stumble across a cool movie. They had The Wanderers here, which is a grouse movie. Not to be confused with The Warriors. Uh, the Wanderers is a different kind of gang movie. Uh, so what's going on here? Stumbled across some art. I actually took a shot of this because I think Bubs, if you're watching this, Weird Feldstein, I reckon you'd like that art. It's your style. Um, this dude here had some comic books amongst all his trash and treasure. The dude was a little bit odd though. He was looking over my shoulder and just being odd. He did offer some deals, but just nothing that I really wanted in there. This dude here looked like he was late setting up, but look how cool these Transformer figures are. Maybe they're fake, I don't know, but they look grouse. But the highlight of the day was seeing this Trojan Warrior movie poster. It's one of the worst movies ever. And there is my brother on the poster there. I am back. Uh, I had fun. It was a fun day. Uh, the market was obviously absolutely chockers. And the sun was really intense today. So walking around. Got very hot. I have no doubt I'll have some sort of t-shirt tan line from today but it was cool i like going to those kind of things uh, there's so much to look at even the stuff that you're you know not necessarily into is still interesting to see like you know old antique things and stuff it's always it's always fun to look through um, i did pick up some stuff but before i show you that uh, just quick plugs shout out to um issues comics and culture uh, i'll leave a link to their ig in the description below and also, I'm going to leave a link to my Red Bubble store if you want to support the channel even further and get some prints on t-shirts, stickers, whatever it be. Uh, you can do that at the Red Bubble store. And you can even get old June June. You know, Miss June June. You can even get her on a t-shirt. All right. Um, so I picked up four books. Three of them were from one stall. I didn't get their name or anything like that. If you guys remember, uh, last time I saw Tom and B at the Fitzroy Market, I picked up a bunch of the DC Who's Who's books. So I saw a couple more and it's funny, I was thinking I need to make I need to make a list of the ones I picked up so I remember which ones I don't have, but I actually didn't recognize these covers at all. So I have no doubt I didn't actually double up on any of them. So I got this one here. I gotta work out a way where I can you know like I know Mark from Big City Comics, he sometimes bags books with the board in the center, which I don't really like, but it kind of works for wraparound covers, but yeah. Uh, so there's that one there. That was five dollars, and then I picked up this one here uh, with the Joker on the cover. How about that? So these were six bucks, and what five dollars? It's not expensive, but I did mention last time I bought these off um, Tom and B, they were two dollars. So these guys, are, this is three times the price of the ones I bought last time. And then just another random pickup. This is Teen Titans Go free comic book. Day. I really want to know, if anyone knows, let me know what was the first appearance of this version of the Teen Titans Go in comics. If anyone knows, let me know because I really want it because I really enjoy Teen Titans Go, these little these little ones. I just think they're fun. I went and saw the movie by myself, I remember when it first came out, and it was hilarious. All right, uh, and then one other book I picked up from Tom and B at Issues Comics and Culture. Uh, uh, Sarah went through the $2 and $4 books, and she came across this in the $4 bin. It is Uncanny X-Force issue 12. Uh, really nice kiss cover with, um, was it Psylocke and, I don't know the other dude. I'm not the Marvel guy, I remember. But yeah, nice kiss cover. Uh, I don't know who did the art, but it is a really, really lovely kiss cover. Boom, boom. Oh, Sarah wants to show her flowers. Oh, okay. Can you pass them to me? Also, I bought Sarah some flowers. There they are. Totally my idea. Totally my money. 
she actually was going to buy some flowers for herself. I was like, no, I'll buy them for you. Same thing, right? I bought her flowers. All right, uh, that's all for this one. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel uh, and you enjoyed this type of video, I will leave a link to my comics and toy hunting vlog playlist in the description below amongst all sorts of other things. So make sure you check out the description. It's not the same old thing every time, you know, and try to mix that up down there. Uh, yeah, uh, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, I'm Simple Simon. Tell your friends and keep it simple.